A warm welcome to our steam machines. This is Jack from Conductive Music with a session exploring biology, music and coding entitled Flower Duets. This is Steam Corner and by the end of the session today you will have coded your very own duet between two flowers started by a pollinating bee. To get yourself started, the coding we'll be using is available on the link below. So give it a click on your tablet or computer. As ever, thanks to Arts Council England and our partners for making these sessions possible. So this is the screen that greets you when you arrive in the program. Let's just full screen it so we can have a look at some of the um, items we have here. These are all parts of the plant that we see and we have the flowers here. We have the roots here and here. We have the leaves, two sets, and we have the stems here. So your first task is gonna be put together two flowers using all of these items, one per flower. There's no rules about this. You can be as creative as you like. So just remember that the roots are gonna to have to go in the ground because that's where they're going to drag the nutrients and the water that they need to survive. Okay, put the flowers together, off you go. I've exited full screen mode just so you can watch me put this last flower together and there's no right or wrong way to do this just remember that you have to have each flower has to have a set of roots leaves the stem and then the flower on the very top so let's just go through what each of these parts of the flower does so our roots here collect nutrients and water from the soil our leaves collect energy in the form of light from the sun our stem here takes all of those nutrients and the energy up to the top of the flower where we get our very pretty colors quite often and I just want to show you what's going to happen when I put this last set of roots onto this other flower because it should be something quite cool okay let's give it a go and there we have it our sun has appeared as well as light from the sun flowers like all other living things need water to survive with this in mind give the sun in the top left hand side of the screen a click to see what happens we have our sun now and our two flowers and look i've set it to rotate just to give it a bit of an animation and what we're going to do now is let's give this sun a click because something quite cool is going to happen and if you want to go and look at the coding to see how i've made this happen please do go ahead let's click on our sun and that was just using effects within scratch okay so when we click on our sun it hides for a little bit shoots off to this way and then we get our rain and rain is very important for our flowers to be able to grow because like any living thing if they don't have enough water they won't be able to grow properly in addition to this plants need air nutrients from the soil and room to grow Obviously, those are things that we need as well as human beings, but it's a bit easier for us to move to find room to grow than it is a plant. So now as we understand a bit more of the biology of the plant, the makeup of the plant and what all its parts do, we're going to use a bit of music to help us code the next part of this session. So I thought it would be very good for us to have a listen to a piece of opera that some of you may know because it has been used quite extensively, lots in TV and lots in film. It's a piece called The Flower Duet and it's by a composer called Delib uh, from his opera Lacme. And what I thought would be really great for us to do is for us to code so that when we click on the B, we get a performance of this very famous duet from the opera performed by our very own plants here. In music, a duet is a performance by two singers or two instrumentalists, possibly with a backing track. The form of our duet is going to be two main voices 
and the backing track as well. So what I'd like you to do now is go down to your sprite menu, click on B and flower one and flower two. And what you'll see if you go up to the sounds tab at the top is that there are four separate tracks. Now you only need three of these to make your duet because you have your two main voices played at the same time and then your backing track. The other track I've included is a red herring designed to trip you up. So your next challenge is to listen through to these tracks to work out which you need to make your flower duet. Best of luck. If you go over to your sprite menu here, where my cursor is, we have all our sprites for our program. Click on flower one and then go up to sounds and you'll find four different parts. Can you see them down here? Part one, part two, part three, part four. What your job in a second is going to be is to have a listen through each of these parts and see which one you think the red herring is. Now red herring is something that is put in purposely to be incorrect to see if you can spot which one it is. So we have amongst these our first part for our one of the flowers, our second part to be sung at the same time by the other flower. Also, we have a backing track and then we have our red herring. So in a second, give the game a pause and come back in a second and I'll give you the solution and you can see if you've been able to spot the part that didn't suit. Okay, off you go. How did you get on? Were you able to spot the red herring? Well, I'll put you out of your suspense. The red herring was actually this one, part four, which was another song completely different. And I thought I'd put it in because it has something to do with our garden here. It is the, it's called Flight of the Bumblebee and it's by a composer called Rimsky Korsakov. And uh, it's quite famous. A lot of people play it on the flute, but there's been different versions of it. So that's the one we can discount. Uh, we're not going to use part four, but part one is our first part of the flower duet. It's the lower part, actually. This part here is the upper part, and part three is our backing track. Let's see if you recognize it. Okay, how many of you recognize that? Then this is going to be the second part. Remember we say a duet has to have two performers. So let's go to part two and let's have a listen. Next, please, let's go over to our Bumblebee sprite, which is the very first sprite here. And you should have on your screen this block of code that says, when this sprite is clicked, go to the front layer. Well, we need to add a few things under that to help our duet happen. So first things first, let's go over to our events list and we're going to use this one here. I'll just show it, scroll up a little bit. It's called broadcast. And what it does is it broadcasts a system wide message that the other sprites can respond to. So let's put it over here and we're going to click on it and make a new message. And that message is going to be called duet, which is the word we'll be using for and click OK. Next, I think we should have the B perform the backing track. So let's go up to our sound menu here and our backing track was part three. Right, so I'll remember that. We'll go back to our code and we'll go to our sound menu and then we'll say start sound part three. Right, back to our first flower then. Let's give it a click in our sprite menu. And now we're going to head down here to this one. Um, when I receive duet, can you see that? Drag that onto your code. And the first thing we're going to go back is to our sound. And then we're going to select one of the other parts for it to play. So I'll tell you what, let's say this is going to be part one. 
And then let's go over to our other flower here, give it a click. And we're gonna do exactly the same when I receive duet. And this time the difference is we're gonna ask it to start part two. Actually, we'll just start part two. There you go. And so now if I click on the B, I should hear everything at the same time. Okay, lovely. And now if you like to go down here to this little opera singer, if you click on her, what will happen is it will bring the musical score up. So I'm just going to go into full screen mode to show you that. So in full screen mode, let's go and click on our opera singer to bring up the music. And now I'm going to click on the B so that we can hear everything. And I'm going to follow it through with my cursor on here. Don't worry about this lower line, but if you can focus on the upper of these two lines, you'll see where we've taken the music from this duet from. Okay, here we go. Insects are very important for the life cycle of the flower. When the insects visit the flower looking for nectar, which is a sweet sticky food source, tiny tiny hairs on the insect's body trap particles known as pollen. Now as the insects fly from flower to flower, these particles are distributed over the wide network of flowers that the insects might visit. This process is known as pollination and leads to the seeds for the next generation of flowers being created. Now, within our code, let's make the bumblebee look like he's visiting each of the flowers as they perform their duet. So to get rid of your music, if you just click back on the opera singer, it should disappear. There we go. Now what I think would be really cool is if we could make it look like our bee, as well as playing the backing track for our two singing flowers, if we could get it to code so the bee looks like it's going between the flowers, pollinating and um, also playing the music, that would be really great. So let's come over here and we're gonna go up to our motion menu and we're looking for this one here, glide one second to a random position. And we want that one, we're gonna change it a little bit. So we're not gonna say one second to a random position, we're gonna say go to our first flower. Then we want it to look like it's waiting there. So it looks like it's collecting all the pollen from the plant, ready for pollination around its garden, wherever it's going. Let's say wait two seconds and then let's go back here and we're gonna say glide uh, maybe two seconds to flower two. So it's gonna visit the other flower. Then we're gonna ask it to wait for two seconds. So wait for two seconds and now I can just copy or can duplicate this block. So other click or alt or option click or if you're on the tablet hold down just press hold like a long hold and then it will bring up a separate menu where you can choose duplicate. So let's see, oh there we go. Okay, I'm going to stop that there. I think I probably need to make this a little bit longer or I can make these wait times more. So let's go back up to motion and we're going to go glide uh, three seconds back to flower one. Maybe wait uh, another three seconds and then back up to motion and probably maybe our final one. And it's... 
It's collected quite a lot of pollen by this stage, so maybe it'll be gliding more slowly. Glide uh, to the final from plant two. Um, okay, let's click on our bee and see what happens. <laughs> Great stuff. We've come to the end of the session today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've had fun finding out about pollination, the life cycle of plants, coding, and our flower duets to boot. I just need to pull your attention to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch accounts. If you see conductive music on there, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you go over to conductivemusic.uk, you'll find over 60 one hour projects for you to get your teeth stuck into. So to help you out doing that, click on our subscription link below. As ever, thanks to Arts Council England and our partners for their continuing support. Bye-bye.